Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to Croco Blog channel. In this video, we're going to go over the main settings and features of Jet Search plugin. This is a lightning fast search plugin for Elementor, displaying the results by relevance without refreshing the page. With the help of Jet Search, you can search within any custom post type, any taxonomy, default tags, and categories. Besides, you'll be able to manage the way the results are displayed, applying advanced stylization settings. But before I get down to showing you how to use a Jet Search plugin, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get the notifications. And now, let's get to our overview. First of all, let's open a dashboard to our WordPress website. Find a place where you want to locate your Ajax search. I decided that it would be perfect to place it right inside of the header, so I'm gonna click on Edit Header. Now let's go to the Elements panel on the left sidebar, find Ajax Search widget and drag it. Under the search form we have basic settings for the search form itself. You can set an icon by uploading an SVG file or choosing one from the icon library. Let me show you. The icon will appear right here. If you don't need any icon, just click None. We can change the placeholder text as well, for example, search the product. Then we have some settings for the button where you can choose to show or to hide submit button, change its label and set an icon for it. I'll just leave an icon only. A bit below you can find Show Categories list. Let's activate it. This option allows the customers to narrow the search, and specific taxonomies enable the user to look for the specified information. So when you click on it, you'll see taxonomy drop-down with needed terms which depend on what type of website you have. As I have an online store, my terms include categories, tags, product categories, product tags, and so on. I'll choose product categories and once you expand it, you'll see the available ones. Ok, let's activate a responsive form on mobile to make sure everything will look perfect on mobile phones. The next one is Search Query. To use the archive template, toggle on Search by Current Query. Under the source, you can select particular search areas. These are posts, pages, products, services, etc. I'm gonna pick products and in case if you have a blog, for example, choose posts or pages, or you can simply select everything. A bit below you can see include and exclude to define certain terms which will be considered by searching. For example, I want my customers to be able to find, let's say, a dress, and I want to include a specific tag. Let's type dress, and these are all the tags that I have in my product. Choose as many terms as you need. And as for the exclude, you can find the same options here. Once you select a specific tag, some products will disappear from the search results. As you can see, I excluded tags with dresses and no results appeared when I searched for one. With Ajax search widget, you can customize the search results by setting search in certain meta fields. It allows searching only in particular custom fields easily. If you have any specific listings, fill it with an appropriate field key that can be SKU, price, etc. Let's specify a custom field. I'm gonna set SKU and check if we can find anything. Awesome! Activate the next option if you want to allow your customers or users to search a whole sentence. Then you can set a results order by relevance, date, ID, title, etc. and specify if it's going to be an ascending or descending order. Posts by page means how many posts will be displayed at once. If it's two posts, it's going to look like this. Increase or decrease the number if needed. Posts number means a number of results displayed in one search query. If we go to Result area, you'll be able to choose the width either by the whole search form or by input box and categories list or choose custom and adjust the width by yourself. By disabling show post thumbnail, in my case there will be only a title and description of the product and when activated there will be product images as well. Thumbnail size and placeholder 
allows you to choose the appropriate size of the image and choose a placeholder background. As for the post content source, you can specify if it's a post content, post excerpt or custom field. And the bigger the number of the post content length, the more characters will be displayed. Let's set it to 10 and we can see that the description is really short. Activate show product price and product rating if you want them to be displayed. With the show results counter, the customers or users will be able to see the exact number of results. Below you can change the counter text to let's say products. Then choose to show all results button and change the button text as well. Results navigation allows to choose the location of navigation arrows, bullet and number pagination and specify if they will be hidden or shown in header or footer. Navigation arrows type allows to choose the arrows icon from the available options. Under the custom field you'll be able to change how to show meta before or after title or content. And lastly we have notifications where you can always change the message that will be displayed in case if there is some technical error or negative search results. So we're done with the basic settings and let's move on to the style tab. As you can see our Ajax search widget allows to customize everything including the form, input field, button, result area, arrows and so on. Both search form and input field in categories list wrapper have the same options where you can set a background color, add a box shadow, border radius for both normal and focus states. Let's go to the input field to customize the text that will be displayed once you start typing inside the form. Typography is for the text that is going to be typed and placeholder typography is for the text that is always visible and in my case it says search. Then here you can always adjust the size and gap of the input icon if you've set any. Select the color for both normal and focus states of the input fields text and background if needed. In the next step I'm adding top left and bottom margin and I'm gonna set the rest to zero. Submit button. If there is any submit button label you have, click on the typography to change the text font and size. Let's adjust the size of the icon font, then choose an icon and background color for both normal and hover states. Under the categories list, let's adjust the width of it, style the text, arrow font size and pick the right colors that match the color scheme of the website. The next drop down style, where you can change the height and adjust the gap between the search form and categories list box. Pick a background color, add a box shadow and set a color for the scroll bar thumb if needed. To style the categories list text, let's move on to the drop down item style, change the typography settings and apply the appropriate colors. Lastly, we have a gap to adjust the space between the categories. Under the results area, you can change the gap, set a background color, add a box shadow, border and change the border radius. Results header and results footer is to change their width. And you can also enable results list scrolling and customize the settings. Results items is where you style the item's background, title and content color. For the hover state, I will darken a background color a bit, set a different color for the title and choose underline for title text decoration. Among the available options, you can also change the alignment and add a divider. Let's adjust the width and gap of the thumbnail image. After styling the title and content text, the last thing that I'm doing here is adding a margin and we can move on to the next settings. Apply the same steps that we did before, styling the text of the counter, all results button and changing the arrows size. Notifications is where you can set a font family and color for the message and lastly spinner. I'm setting a color and now let's finally test our Ajax search. Okay, everything is styled and works great, awesome. Let's click on see all results. The page that you see now is a search results page. 
basically it's your shop page. Let me quickly show you where to find it and how to style it so your search results look stunning. Open your dashboard, find Croco block, then Jet Woo templates. Now let's edit shop with Elementor. For my shop page that is also a search results page, I added product grid widget, styled it, and as for the rest of the widgets, just look how many Crocoblock awesome widgets are available here when you type filter in the elements panel. I used checkboxes filter for the size, range filter for the price, visual filter for the color, and also remove filters and sorting filter as well. And it's super easy to use the filter widget. You just need to apply any filter you like, style it, and specify what filter you need. And if you don't know what smart filters are and how to set them, we have a separate tutorial dedicated to JetSmart filters, so check the links in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below, subscribe to our channel, and check our other useful videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.